and welcome everybody um let's see who is around i'm not too sure if my chat is working properly so let me just put that up in the corner let me just refresh how is everybody doing So I'll just wait for people coming in. Um, obviously, I've not scheduled today, so I'm assuming that must be the reason. If not, everyone's abandoned me. <laughs> Hi, Em, first in the room. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? It's Valentine's Day, so I don't know what the outcome's going to be because obviously everyone is having meals and stuff. Hi, Kelly. Happy Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I didn't know whether I should come on or not, really. But we, obviously, I've been with my husband that long. I'm thinking I don't really need to not be on. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Ems. I think my chat is a bit slow. So, if I am quite behind, I'm very sorry. Hi, Ashley. Because they're coming through on my iPad faster than they're coming through on my actual live stream. <laughs> so, welcome, everybody. Happy Love Day. <laughs> That's what I said to Leighton this morning when I gave him his present. I went, Happy Love Day. And he just looked at me. <laughs> so today is all about the flowers. The little butterflies that are already on the flowers, I will do them off camera because I'm going to do them all exactly the same as this. So I just want to get the flowers done. And he, the, the good thing about Kirby is he's actually done the same hi wendy he's actually done the same um flowers as the ones that the butterflies are actually native to so this is these ones so all these flowers that are around these ones uh where these butterflies are obviously found and then also these ones so i have got references to work from i was so chuffed and all i had to put in google was uh, plants native to the queen alexandra butterfly and they came up and i was like yes <laughs> so i have my reference photo so i don't need to do like fantasy colors i mean i could do if i wanted to but some of them i'm gonna do dark is that what they're called hibiscus i have no idea but that's what all that you see the butterflies there. So I just looked at this website and it had exactly the same. So this one down here is this one, but it doesn't tell me what the plants are called. So I'm not too sure um, what they are. So me and flowers are not the best. I do try my hardest to do flowers, but we'll see how realistic I can get them to be. Hi, Michelle. Cannot stay, have company, just wanted to show support and give you a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. It's totally understandable. I get it. Everyone's having little romantic meals in um, and they're spending time with the husbands or wives. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm not expecting numbers or anything tonight. But I just want to come on because a lot of people want me to do this. And next week I want to do another February one. So um, I wanted to get as much of this done on stream as possible. The hibiscus. Well, hey, hi, Aunt. Happy Love Day. <laughs> Jeremy drew me a picture with one on it. Oh, did he? How lovely. So let me see where we're going to start. Where am I going to start? I'll start with this one at the top. Oops, I'm just knocking my camera out as well. So, yeah, I'm not expecting a ton of people to arrive because obviously it is love day i'm not having a romantic meal <laughs> that's how i am i don't look at facebook on um valentine's day because it just utterly like not that it sickens me but it's just like i tell my husband i love him every day so i don't need to put a facebook post on either to show that i actually love my husband so i kind of um stay away from that hi joanna no romance in my eyes <laughs> so i'm going to start off with this flower here 
Ooh, does it tell you the on the back of the book the info on each piece? I know it gives you each animal. Does it know what I did? I don't know actually. Let me have a look. So let's have a see what it says. Hmm, live exclusively in Papua New Guinea. They are the largest butterflies in the world with a wingspan of 28 centimeters. Wow. They're important con component of the food chain and caterpillars eat foliage and the nectar feed in adults plant time flowers. Among I wonder if that are some adult pollinate flowers. Oh no, nectar feed in adults pollinate flowers, among other things, habitat loss. Due to commercial blah 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 blah. No. <laughs> I googled it and it came up so good old google saved the day because I was like what on earth are these flowers so happy valentine's day Joanna <laughs> hi Aline Aline I say it funny every time I don't know why it's because I try and say the e and then I know it's silent and I think uh it sickens me I've been vocal on Facebook waiting today <laughs> I'm snowed in and can't be bothered with Valentine's Day. Oh no, um, how many inches of snow have you got? So I'm just using sunflower yellow and I'm just going to give a nice light layer across the whole one. This is our base layer. Now, I've not put the neo colour down on this. I'm just going to see how I go with it first because I'm going to be mostly flicking. The pressure should be enough to penetrate the, pr the truth of the paper. <laughs> It just sounds so wrong. We're having a Valentine's Day blizzard. Wow. We have had a mini celebration as it's also a five year. Oh, happy five year anniversary, Ems. You're not late, Alison. You're right on time, but never, no one's ever late. <laughs> what did we do before Google? I have no idea because I am no good with plants whatsoever. Not in the foggiest am I good with plants. I kill them. Um, I can't keep them alive. So, there you have it. So, has anyone got any lovely surprises today that they weren't expecting? Has anyone got engaged? This is normally what happens, isn't it, on uh, Valentine's. Someone pops up with a ring somewhere. <laughs> I'll have a romantic meal with the cats. Oh, well, the cats will love it, Ashley. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Okay, so I'm just putting this layer down on the whole of the flower. This is just our undertone. Because it has, when I look at the picture, this is what I work out. Whoops. This is what I look at and I zoom it in and I zoom it in and I look at what's underneath it. So that's how I, I always have my reference photo at the side of me. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get that vein effect in it because obviously Kirby's done these thick, quite thick lines in. So I'm just going to do my flicking action and hopefully that will... I'm going to move my iPad over before it's right where my arm is from a video so I can't see what people are saying. I haven't measured it, but it looks about six, in six inches, not sure. Oh, nice. It's now 16 degree winds, 80 mile of per hour and happy snow dogs <laughs> happy anniversary ends i'm why am i reading ashley's comment out like that <laughs> i kill out and get what well, joanna i am with you on that one i can kill everything when it comes to plants i can't even grow grass in the back garden i get that wrong and it comes back as turf to turf stumps all over my garden and i'm like Ugh. i can't i just can't do it so I have put my new blade in my m and I'm so excited because I'm back to using my m and um, I love this sharpener. It's hand sharpening and not everybody likes hand sharpening. I know, but I do. <laughs> me neither. I'm licensed to care for children, but I kill plants. <laughs> Ashley, bug the, making, making dad dinner. No problem, Kelly. Enjoy your dinner. What are you having? Me too. I kill everything green. See, we're all having something in common here. This is really good. So I'm going to start from the bottom. Oops. And I'm going to flick the orange outwards. And it's very similar to her. Very similar. I mean, I could shade it all, but 
that's not me so I'm going to be flickety flickying as you all know how I go I'm a bit of a flicker fan <laughs> what on earth am I coming out with tonight hi Mary how are you I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you've had a lovely Valentine's Day happy Valentine's oh the well I had um Kirsty was helping me with that one because I was like what are these because I know some of them are nuts aren't they and some of them are like a grapey looking berry thing and we worked out a few because I was I'm gonna do the mandrill but it won't it won't be this month I don't think um it's gonna be probably in March um when I do a next curve because I want to try and get some February ones done um because last time in spooktober i didn't get half as many as i would have liked to have got in yeah first valentine oh i'm so sorry kelly i'm sending you a big hug this is my virtual hug mm, i'm squeezing i know it's hard when it's you're going to have so many first this year kelly and it's not easy at all and i totally understand i totally understand i was a bit of a recluse when it came to anything when it after i lost my dad and even father's day i couldn't even bring myself to go down the father's day aisle so i totally get it it's it's hard and i'm here for you you know i am you can message me anytime and i still need to know what you want when you message me was it yesterday or the day before I've been lost with my days. So I'm flicking all the bottoms of the flowers first. And then I'm going to come to the tops and I'm going to flick down. And that's so it gives us that nice light centre on each petal. So this bit, what I'm showing you here, you get a nice light centre. I'm going to kind of use Kirby's Yes, you're still to tell me what you've learned, definitely it's our time zones, it's just hard, isn't it? But I didn't have a good day Friday with sleep. I ended up sleeping all day Friday. Then I had a bit of a, I don't know if it was an anxiety attack or whether it was a panic attack. It was a very bizarre feeling. Um, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. That was yesterday before I streamed, but then I, I was seemed all right after a bit. So just got some fresh air and I've calmed down a lot. I don't know what it was. It felt like my heart was thudding. So, you know, when you get a palpitation, it goes bum, 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 bum. And you're like, oh, I can feel that was a palpitation. This was like pounding in my back, but like big boom, boom, boom thuds. And I thought, oh and as soon as i took note of it my chest started going tighter and tighter and tighter and i'm thinking what is going on so then every time i get a thing with my panic attack i'm using um our teasers and it's orange sorry i forgot to tell you i've moved on to orange <laughs> um so yeah um i stood up to try and take my mind off it because whenever it's a panic attack or something like that if i take my mind off it and go and do something it goes away um but when i stood up and walked around i started feeling really dizzy and wobbly on my feet so i sat straight back down so that was orange yes yeah, sorry so i've used so far the colors i'm going to be using I'll, I'll tell you them so you know anyone following along if they're doing this page with me uh these are the colors i'm going to be using i bet i can't hold them all now been getting used to doing this on the background dress so i'm be using oops come back here um burgundy crimson red rose red orange and sunflower yellow they're all just rolling around and for the shadows and the dark areas i'll be using wine red just so um 
if anyone's following along they know what pencils to get out so i've just used orange so i'm now moving on to rose red and this is where i'm going to kind of get the the picture up and i'm going to start adding in places so i just want it slightly sharp i'm just going to give it a turn on the sharpener Hi Alison, how are you? Alison with one L. <laughs> what pencils? Oh, I've just answered that. I think so. I'm quite quiet. Yes, yeah, she has been very quiet lately. Kelly has, but we're trying to keep her upbeat. Yeah, it could have been. I have been naughty, not taking my tablet when I'm supposed to be. So now I'm on rose red. Um, and I'm going to follow my picture now. So I'm going to come from the bottom. Oh, there goes the tip. Shell at it. Breaker of tips. Slayer of name. And gob on legs. My punishment for breaking my tip. I don't think it'll ever get old. <laughs> Because it's kind of part of me that now. So just for this bit here, I'm just going to flick up exactly the same as I've done with the other colours. And cover the whole area. It could be the top of the petal where I will change and put it into some kind of pattern. Oh, that does seem pretty, Mary. Oh, you've not, Alison. The same thing again. Oh, no. I hope Wing is looking after you. So inside all these areas, I'm just going to shadow it in and then flick this bit. Hi, Marilyn. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I got all my little kids. Um, my girls, I got them a little teddy bear and uh, some origami um, heart stuff, what they have to make. And my boys, I got them chocolate. Because I said to them when I give it to them, nobody loves you like your mum and dad. So they have to have... Uh, uh, Valentine's Day off. I don't get them a card, but I always get them a like a little tree or um a flower, you know, roses or something like that. But this year it was teddy bears. I'm working on Colin Sots and maybe some Imagine Mafia if my timeline for our delivery is correct. My fragile will should be here this week. Woohoo! Yes! I've coloured lock but can't share on here. on youtube you can't share on youtube do you mean when they are on facebook oh no i'm sorry allison he does multicolored scottish highland cows oh i'll have to um i'll have to have a look at that one Okay, so then from the top, I'm going to start doing in little sections. Maybe this one. I'm just going to keep rotating my pencil so it keeps it. And this is kind of the easiest way I know how to do petals and whatnot. So it's going to get deeper the more layers we do. Got her in the end of that. How do you get her in the lead of the pencil? Oh, yes, I'm using Artie's and water, watercolour normal pencils. Because <laughs> I have no idea whether these are a watercolour pencil or a normal. 
it doesn't really bother me to be honest but it's just funny now i just think mm, am i using a watercolor or am i using a normal pencil i don't know i don't know is the question to that is the answer should i say I gave my son Avatar last day, and a colouring boot with a set of Prisma Very Thins. He's shown an interest in colouring, so why not let him try it? Exactly, Marilyn. Mine do all the time, they love it. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think... It, only mods can share, but I... Um, let me look him up if you write in the website for me in the comment i'll try and pick it up and put it in my computer and i'll pop the link into where you can get his stuff if you want to wendy uh, so these are just in sections The thing is with flowers you've got to keep your point and these these um our teasers lose the point re really quickly because i've been used to using uh, polychromos as well for quite a few days with with uh, my colin thompson i'm forgetting how soft all the other pencils are <gasps> and if anyone wants a good deal and you're in the uk let me show you this before i carry on any further where's the gun? Stay there, gelatos. I got these today. So I've got them with my portraits. That's my portrait sets I got a few weeks ago. But I got these today. I was telling everyone yesterday. But I'm not sure if anyone knows. If you are in the UK, I'm not too sure if the UK link will post to the US or not. But at the minute, these are £45. So they're normally between about £53 and upwards, uh, which is just the normal 20 luminance set. These came today for 45 quid. I could not leave them. So uh let me get the link um and i will post the link in for you just one second let me get that why let me get the link up oh why has it disappeared get it up for you i will get it up there we go that's going to be too big you have to put 20 set in or it doesn't come up needed it to come up there because i needed that small link on them for many minutes this might be too big for the if i put this link in they come up on this page so let me just put this link in that should fit I think oh, I love them I absolutely love them I've been swatching them out today because um I've got this list what Della sent me I think is it I think it's Emily Illustrators um and the I've only done little swatches with them so far I haven't done any major swats but now because I've got this 20 set I can't buy the 40 odd 76 so I'm going to end up with doubles and I don't want doubles um so just check whether Joanna just check if that link will send to America or not what's the difference between the part and the luminance So 
much i'm i think going off because i've not used them properly yet i can't really say how much more different they are but based on doing the swatches the creamier and softer um i haven't tried blending properly with them hi d the 300 pounds there oh whoa I don't know, um, Eileen, the, apparently there's a big thing come out about them, hasn't there, that some of them are water soluble and some aren't, but I've not, I have tried some of them and some from the old set are, but I'm not too worried about that. Let me just check, go back to chat. Um, hi, Robin. Hi, anyone that's come in and I've not seen where I've just picked up me, um, boxes so they are much creamier where pablo's are an oil based pencil so they're really hard but i think luminance i'm sure are they both wax and oil uh, i'd have to find out because they just go on about the light fastness. It doesn't actually stay. But they are the softer. I know they're softer because the lead wore down as I was colouring with them. Where the Pablo's are quite hard like a poly. These are probably soft like a Prisma but very, very more high end. Um, but check the link that I've just put in the just in the chat. If they, some of them, sometimes they do deliver. Because I know Kelly orders off amazon and gets things from amazon uk so just see if you can get it at that price for your end up there um but yeah i can give you more of an example when i start coloring with them but that's as far as i've got with them um but i love my pablos but i think my pablos are probably what i'll use more like my polychromos and these are probably things that i'd use i think for mushing together i think these are going to blend amazingly well where my pablos have got to layer up quite a lot so it just depends on what i'm doing as to whether i would say one's better than the other because i don't think they'll be because they're both karen dash i think the superior quality of both of them are, are really good um but yeah i think it's going to for me, I think it's going to boil down to depending on what I'm doing. So let me move that out of the way. So you can see how many I need to buy now to fill my set. Because I bought that 20 set, I'm now going to have to buy them single stock. Because I don't want doubles. <laughs> Unless I get like a, a 76 set or a 40 set that's uber cheap. Then I'll say, but let's come back down here. Yeah, they're definitely, the Pablos are definitely a harder lead. Definitely. Hi, Dee. Welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> there you go, Joanna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Sammy is definitely one to ask. I go, Sammy's my go-to girl about Loomis. I always ask her about Loomis. Whoops. I'm just sending that flying everywhere. So let's get back onto this. So back with rose red and coming down from the top. But yeah, uh, Pablo's are a much harder, harder pencil. Um, and the Loomis are a bigger, a lot wider, a lot wider in comparison. Yeah, well, if you look at a Pablo, which is here. This is a Pablo. I'll put it there. And I'll get these out my wrap because these are my single ones that I've got. So I don't have to get my things. Um, this is Illuminance. So there's a massive difference in width of the pencil. I think the wood they use might be. Um, and if I hold that up there like that. This is the luminance and this is the Karen Dash. So I think the actual car is. But I'm trying to see if it is actually. Yeah, I think the car as well. So you're getting more pigment in your car versus your Pablo's. So the Pablo's are a lot of thinner pencil. And your 
I think it's the light fast rating on these as well. I think they're all 100% light fast, aren't they? I don't know much about them because I've only just started getting them um, because there was, there was never something that I could normally just go out and buy. So I've saved up and managed to get them, but only ones at a little bit amount at a time. But um, So I need to do more research with them really and... But yeah, there's the difference between a Pablo. So that's probably why there's a massive difference in price. But Pablos are around two hundred pound for this one twenty set. Uh, Della sent it me. I'm not sure if Della comes in the chat. She can uh, if she pops on. She'll be able to tell you. But I'm sure it's from Emily Illustrators. Um, because I didn't know there was one with all hundred on. Um, and Della sent it me via email it does look like one that Emily's done but it could be one that Della's done so I don't want to say whose it might be if it's not <laughs> did I see Tonya come in chat then hi Tonya happy Valentine's Day what have you and Mary been up to today? Why do I feel like I'm bringing everything out in song? Like, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is now crimson red. So we're going on the pink side of stuff here. So I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to bring them up to the top. Hi, Kat. Happy Valentine's Day. But as well, oh no, I checked what they were because I've just set up an Amazon Japan account and um, the luminance on there are no different in price to either. Quite expensive on Amazon Japan. So I'm going to start flicking over with this now. Because I need it to predominantly look a darker red, pinky, the lack of pinky, reddy, orangey colour. I definitely need more practice with flowers. I kind of avoid flowers. Well, then when I did my first art piece where I drew my own artwork, I actually drew flowers around my botanical sugar skull. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are like for the size of them, yeah. Uh, Shannon, it's this one. Is it a Sammy's or is it an Emily's? Della sent it me, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> there you go, Shannon will be on it. She'll let you know <laughs> whose it is. <laughs> so, crimson red here, and I'm just putting patterns of it throughout the leaf and happy valentine's uh, day shannon i hope brian's treated you to some nice things no i've got i didn't think it, it might not have been because sammy sent me her chart with the colors on so i can pick because i'm going to start buying them individually so i can pick out which ones i want <laughs> each month and build the set that way and as i think sammy's is squares and i'm in top chat i'm not even in live chat thanks for that cat <laughs> no problem shannon oops Pop them up there. So coming from the bottom, brightening that bottom stem up. Uh, 
Oh, she's a good one now, Shannon. I sat last night and I watched a film in bed. I've never done that in years. It was amazing. <laughs> I said to my husband, oh, I can do this more often. And he just looked at me. I don't think he wants to watch movies in bed. I thought it was dead comfy. So we could get all the kids one night and just all pile on the bed. Hi, Kenny. Happy Valentine's Day. No worries, it's okay. <laughs> Well, I did come on last night as an impromptu, so I was thinking, do I stream, do I not? It's Valentine's Day, and I just thought, I'll come on, and if there's not many, I'll just give it an hour and then come off. But there's not, there's quite a lot of people here, so I'll stay on. So don't worry about it, Kenny. And so, yeah. And it's good to, I mean, that chart's really good so you can kind of keep an eye on what you have got and what you haven't got. I wish these flowers, though, was plain. You know, not all these lines in. I think sometimes it's good if you're not one for adding your own stuff to but when I add when I do stuff I like it plain so I can kind of add in my own little colouring things to it it's okay I only put the schedule on I think like literally half an hour before it started anyway but it's Sunday, and I'm a, I mostly stream on a Sunday. Maybe I need to put my schedule on. But I was just wasn't sure whether people would be here. <laughs> okay, so next we we'll use rose red. That one crimson red. So now I'm going to go to the burgundy because in the flower there's these burgundy little lines in. So I'm going to put bring them into it now. Mine still looks a bit too orange. There you go. Thank you, Shannon. So this is burgundy. hopefully this will start pinking it up to look more like what we're after but i'm rubbish at flowers i must admit i am quite rubbish at flowers <laughs> shannon is the best at flowers You've streamed this morning. I've caught a few, Joanna, now. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 what I've had to do with a lot of people, I've had to unsubscribe and resubscribe uh, because I wasn't getting anyone's notifications, um, which is really frustrating because I don't, I don't understand why. Um, I still don't get Tammy's and I've unsubscribed and resubscribed about five million times and it still doesn't tell me when she's live. I mean, granted, some of them are when I'm asleep, but still, I should still have a notification. So I don't know what's going on there. What's that? No problem, Kenny. Hmm. 
it's a lot of lines for Posca 8 and a lot of the time Posca scrapes back off so I'm not too sure whether that would work but I would have liked it if it had just had like a few I mean I get why he's done it because when you look at the real flower there is loads of lines in it but I'd have preferred to have created them lines with the pencil because now the the black lines to me are like dulling it out and it doesn't even look the same colour. I need to do something with my um let me just have a look at this brightness setting because it doesn't look the same colour on screen as it looks here. I was gonna try and hook my phone up. better yeah I was going to try and heat my phone up I don't know if that's too dark now um, and do it through my phone but I didn't want to mess around and it not work and then I wouldn't get my stream on <laughs> Food oatmeal. Oh, you're having your dinner. <laughs> so I'm just putting it in the grooves kind of where I feel it would look like. It still doesn't look the right colour. It's driving me potty. It must be like across the board with YouTube, Joanna, because mine's been terrible. Um, the only ones um, I have been getting, I got Sammy's um, the last time she streamed. That came through and I was like, woohoo. And then I started getting Shannon's and then Shannon's has stopped again. Um. Then I'll go on Shannon's channel and I'll see that there's videos and I'm like, when did they happen? And it's really frustrating because it's like, oh, I want to see them. So I don't know. Maybe I need to uninstall the app and reinstall it. You've just done a stunning one for Valentine's cat. That's gorgeous. I commented on that before. And how many of you got to see the uh, Colour in Heaven uh, charity colouring marathon that they did? That was really good. Well, I think these flowers are defeating me. They look nothing like that flower on there. So I'm going to come back with... Um, why am I trying to pick that up from down there is beyond me. I'm going to come back with some flower yellow and then I'm going to try and brighten up some sections in this middle bit. It's going to have to become a take on the real thing because it doesn't look anything like it. Let me just move this over here. I honestly can't chat. Yeah, it was a good one. Are you off, Eileen? Thank you very much for coming. Have a lovely rest of your evening, however you're doing, and I will see you in the week. Uh, the one didn't come on this morning because I sillily set it up to scheduled, but I'd scheduled it for tomorrow morning and not this morning. So when I went on to schedule the one I coloured 
for tomorrow and schedule that for tomorrow it was on tomorrow's date and i was like oh so i quickly amended it and then it put it on <laughs> so that was totally my fault i'm sorry ems totally my fault so then i'm going to come in with wine red this is quite dark yeah if there is anyone in chat with channels which i know there's a few just pop your three hearts up and let people know which is your channel and then they can search your way on youtube so this wine red just kind of use this as a shadow and kind of break them petals up a little bit they really crumble are these artesia pencils they just look like a stripy mess that's not what i wanted snow full food today massive pot of chili burgers nachos chips chips and a lot of cheese oh yummy we had uh, cheeseburgers and chips for tea um i don't know about on your pc but i can reboot the app I think I might have to um, I think I'm overthinking the flower I think that's my problem I'm going to add the shadows in over here on this side Oh, semi, semi. Uh, Sammy sent it to me. Do you want me to put it in the chat? Let me have a look. Scroll up and scroll up and scroll up. Oh, it won't fit in. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I make it shorter? It won't fit in the chat. It must fit because I think Shannon's posted it before, but it's exceeded the 200 limit. Oh, that's weird. I'll have cat shaking at me in a minute. Hi, Bruce. Oh, I can't get it in. I can't fit it in the thing. I don't know how you make a link smaller. Oh, thank you very much, Bruce. How are you? How's Valentine's Day going for you? Happy Valentine's Day. For however, if you're celebrating it or not. Um, 
I might try a different way of doing these in a second. I'm just going to add all the shadows in under here. How do you do it like that, Shannon? Because it doesn't work for me. It's putting the whole long link in. I might have a go at shadowing it a little bit more and then adding the dark to add the things in. So I'll try that on the next flower. I'm no good at linking. <laughs> no problem, Wendy. They're both amazing colourists. You'll learn a lot. I'm going to try this flower a different way because I don't like how this one's come out. It just looks like stripy galore. So let's move on from that one. Let's get it out for short. Are you back now? <laughs> get it. Right, I'm going to try this flower. This one is more like the shape of the one I've got up for a starter. Tell you what, instead of lining it with that yellow, I'm going to try it lining it with. Let's have a see. I've got a light pink. And I've got a peach pink. I'm going to try lining it with a salmon pink rather than the sunset yellow, and then I can add yellow to it if I need to. So let's try that. Yeah, yeah, links. Uh, do you get them short? Because that one I had then for that document, what Sammy sent was dead long. So I'm going to line base colour all the flower with salmon. I'm going to go at it a different way than what I've just done. And see if that comes out better. It's this it's these all these straps are driving me potty. <laughs> Just give me a plain flower. <gasps> oh, what's happening, Shannon? Have you got bad weather? That's scary. Be safe if you have. No, it was just really long. It came up red so it wouldn't let it it wouldn't let me actually enter it. It put it in but it was exceeding the thing so it wouldn't send it. I don't know, weird. So I'll put all that there and go around him. Oh, <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. <laughs> it's making me laugh already just thinking about it. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Jamie. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, gosh, Shannon, that sounds really bad. So then, so we're skipping some flower yellow. So I'm going to pop in the, I'm going to have a load of shaving to keep these straight. 
So just in this centre section, I'm just going to do an orange band on each petal. I'm going to try it this way. This is how I used to do flowers back in the day. Another band across here. <laughs> I'm officially nervous. They're predicting six to nine inches of snow on our ice and frigid temps. I hit US hard. A 130 car pilot and six dead, 65 injured. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> That's scary. Do you not think the weather is really odd everywhere though this year? Like people are getting snow that don't normally get snow, especially us here in the UK, we don't normally get this much snow. And if I'm being honest with you, February last year was really was quite warm because I remember the start of lockdown, which was mid-March, and I had a pool in the back garden for the kids and we was eating our dinner outside every day. So this is orange. I don't know if I said it, so I've just repeated it. Oh, I want everyone who's got really bad weather, please, please, please be careful. <laughs> I can't wait for reactions, it's funny. So I've lined that there. So then I want rose red and this is where I'm gonna, gonna flick that into that orange. I think this flower is going to come out more like it. The flicking of patterns with all the different colours isn't working. I think the lines make it look weird. So I'm going to try it this way and then from the centre out. Freezing. Yeah, it is. It's really, really cold. Like, I can't even stand the back door open for more than two minutes. It's crazy cold. I mean, we get what minus two probably at the most i think we've had minus four and five which we don't normally get degrees celsius anyway it is crazy weather at the minute and then my husband went you do know we're doing ice age don't you and i went oh be here we're not having no uh day after tomorrow episodes here later <laughs> is it 2012 which is that one where it freezes everyone i'm like we're not having that going on yet He was slapping his head off. And it's not funny. I said, you'll start scurrying me. I said to him the other day, I said, it's tradition now. I said, the other streamers, the husbands are making appearance, whether they're talking in background or they're coming out stream colouring. I said, you have to come and do it. He went, am I, Eck? He said, you're not getting me on there. <laughs> Heat wave, southern Maine, 29 Fahrenheit. Wow. So you're getting it all warm. So you're in Maine as well, Bruce. They're going to come from the bottom for get these ones down here. And flick. Yeah. <laughs> Has it come up yet? <laughs> I can see your laughing faces now. 
cat, if you don't laugh, I might cry. I was going to be my merch hashtag, but I couldn't hold it in anymore. It's officially a tag. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, well, Ash, you have to tell her what you was gonna, what your original plan was as well. Now that's funny. That made me laugh when you told me your original plan. <laughs> Scar. I am surprised you've held it in this long, Ashley, if I'm honest. I really am. So underneath here, I'm going to flick upwards. Hopefully, I'm much happier with how this one's coming out than the other one. So this is how I'm going to have to tackle them all. And then next up is Crimson Red. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a rooster to colour. Sorry to bomb this one onto sh No, bomb away, it's all right. <laughs> I think it's amazing. So now I'm going to use crimson red. And this is where I'm going to put in just the red sections I want to put in. Oops, that just went flying off everywhere. I've got a feeling this is going to work much better. And look much better than that other one just did. just concentrating on this i just want it to look right i have to get work things ready stay safe all and thanks for welcoming me keeping my head above water oh you're so welcome wendy thank you very much for coming have a lovely rest of your day and stay safe through the week steampunk cockerel <laughs> that one sounds a good one a steampunk cockerel it is a really funny hashtag even i've been searching out one to do since ash told me about it <laughs> What are you doing? Right. Got kids sneaking around the house. I'm out of focus. You'll have to tell Kenny when she comes back in what it was, Ashley. <laughs> so, up on the bottom down here. I think we've had as much as the bad weather as we're getting. I don't think we're going to get any more snow now. Well, not where I am anyway. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah so much this flower's looking much better on this side <laughs> cat oh, it's so hard to whip behind this one that little butterfly there I must be pressing down so hard on these pencils. I was seriously considering the other day, do I do? No other colouring night apart from Kirby and I just do this every day, every stream for like a month and see how many I can do. <laughs> Yeah, typical. Oh, Kenny's looking. <laughs> Ashley. I was like, you've got to do it. Well, this side, I'm just going to put a shadow under here. What time are we on? Because I've not been on so late tonight. Okay, and then burgundy time. I'm much happier with this flower. This flower looks more like the flower I've got on my phone. That looks like a stripy galore. <laughs> Don't you snap. One second, I just need to alcohol mark it. It's sliding. So I want to know what everyone has been up to today. What have you all been doing? Or oh, if you're only just waking up, what did you do yesterday for Valentine's Day? Just bear with me a second, everyone. I just need to get a cord from the local girl. I lock a tablet after a certain hour. <laughs> Here we are. 066. 244. I'm eating chocolate buns, watching movies. I'm reading a romance novel. Ooh, which novel are you reading? Just trying to stay warm. Oh, bless you, Jamie. Is it freezing? So where there's little dips and ways, I'm just going to put burgundy in. I'm going under here. I definitely feel much happier about how this one looks than the other ones. Just trying to stay warm. Started a new guitar project, needs a new bridge. Oh, do you make guitars as well, Bruce?
I'm going to make this my last flower I do on here and then I'm going to move on to some of these so then I can finish it off stream. I'm going to have loads of off stream whips. Because all I make sure is that I've gone through every element and then I've covered every bit I'm doing. I'm colouring mythographic enchanted castles. Nice. Has anyone ordered or pre-ordered Joanna's new book that's due out very, very soon? It's March, isn't it? I think it's due out. So here I'm going to use it as the shadow. Flick it from there. This one is a vintage, whereas classical, no, but I can repair quite a few things. My husband's a bit of a fixer-upper. He likes getting stuff and taking stuff apart and I'm like, stop taking it apart. And he's like, but that's what I want to do. <laughs> so where it's like dipped in, I'm just adding burgundy. Undry luminance are on Kirby pages and they're any good on the slidiness of Kirby paper. Does anyone use luminance in Kirby's books? And then lastly, where all the shadows are, I'm going to use wine red. So I'm going to come under here first. Do a bit under here. Yeah, I need to pre-order it. I haven't done it yet. Um, I was gonna wait to see if anyone puts any like pre-order reviews on because I'm not a real big fan of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, and I'm thinking if it's a bit like that, I might not like it. I don't think it is. Or I think it's like all our other books, isn't it? And I'm just going to come in the middle of the darker ones that I've done. And if you didn't catch me live yesterday, I just finished off. I showed everyone how I did the face on the furry that I did for February. They work good in Kirby's books. Oh, I'm going to have to try them out. I'm actually scared of... Because if this was me right now and I kept, I've kept i kept sharpening these to keep a nice sharp point, I'm scared that I'll end up sharpening them away. She is colouring in it on her channel. You get a sneak peek at the picture. <gasps> is she? They were going to toss it. Oh, gosh. See, some things like that. I'd be, I'd be a person like that. If I was clearing out an old house, I wouldn't have any clue if something was an antique or... If it was worth saving, things like that, I'd just love it. Straight in bin. 
I'm going to do the centre veins here. There is on some of them. Let's see under here. Right. Hi Carol, I wonder what will happen if I put Wink of Stella or Stickles or even gel pens on the Arteza. Other than that concern, I don't care if they bleed. I've put Stickles over the top of Arteza before. Uh, not, I've put Stickles and I've also put the... Um, these ones, the Glitter... Spectrum Noir glitter pens. These are brush pens. They're exactly the same as the Wink of Stella, I think. Um, and they, I don't think they run. I've no idea with guitars me so I'm just gonna go over this with a bit of alcohol pen just blend it in a little bit more Yeah, I'm much happier with that than I am with that. <laughs> so I know which way I need to tackle them now. So let me get the... The stem is very pink. So I've got Fruit Punch. I'm going to come up, up here. And I'm going to kind of squirm in between these with the pink. I mean, like, there's way too many bubbles here. Way too many. And then it comes out the top pink. Yeah, I would, yeah. I've not had no running. I mean, they haven't... <sighs> I've just put alcohol blender on them. They've not ran. I mean, I don't know if I sprayed anything with it, but. So some of these I'm going to use lemon on. So these outer ones, I'm going to kind of use lemon. And then the ones that are smaller on the inner section, I'm going to use a darker yellow. And then this is sunflower yellow, just a bit of a deeper yellow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm the same, so long as it's not anything like expensive pencils. But like I said, when Shannon was on the other day, I said I was really shocked at the Black Widow because your Black Widow are not a budget range pencil. Even though you sit there and think, oh yeah, it's £12 for your tin of skin tone. So there you've got £24 for 12 
um and then i think the set of three are 20 quid a set here so that's 60 quid so there you've spent 85 quid near enough and then the 50 pound it is for your monarch pencils you're like over 100 pound there for 144 pencils so that's similar prices to what you pay for prismacolor so i was quite shocked at black widow for being shannon was it actually what did the black widows come out really watercolor or did they come out more like a ghosting i couldn't tell um but i'm sure i was quite shocked at that and i think um the crayouts were really watercolor i think so that's that flower done so yes i'm much happier with that than i am with that that looks much better and that looks more true to the color I'm just going to get the pink I used and just cover any with the salmon and just cover any edges that I might have missed anywhere. So let's do some of these buds. Mm, I was going to be a smart but but about it but like but guys my ink tends ran when I put water on <laughs> oh dear me so hello anyone lurking in the background there is quite a lot watching so there's a lot of lurkers there so welcome everyone happy valentine's day to the lurkers hope you've had a lovely day and got some lovely treats if you are celebrating it's gonna let me head valentine's day crap you up with that <laughs> i just thought it was funny when i put water on the end of my um pencil and was like woohoo could do what i could do with ink tents with these <laughs> yeah definitely i think who used did i see i saw a channel the other day and i just thought there's just there's no need now there's enough channels done it and um i'm not it said something like should we be worried and i'm thinking why on earth do we need to be worried we don't need to be worried about <laughs> i know it's just a catchy title but still it's just a bit over the top i think okay so what was i using a bit of an orange band just here with orange I'm just sick of four videos a day about it. No worries, Carol. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you know, I miss so many people sometimes. You know, and if there's a big conversation going on and there's quite a lot reacting to one conversation it flies sometimes chat and you just literally can't keep up and i'll stick a big blanket hellos to everyone because you don't want to miss anybody out and you know you you want to make sure you've said hi to everyone so i always just say blanket hellos if it's quite a lot of people in the chat oops and then rose red down here Mm -hmm. yeah I suppose you'd only run into a problem though if you was going to mix media a page up and add water to it otherwise you wouldn't 
Like I would never know if this was a watercolour pencil that I'm using right now. I would never know if it was or not because I'm not putting... I put alcohol marker on but it's not... It's not made it smear. You can see it's quite separated on them. Um, so, yeah, but I get it. I get what people are saying about um, that it's disappointing because especially if you're an artist and you're selling your art and stuff like that, the last thing you want to do is it running. But there is an aspect of when you're buying cheap pencils that there is going to be kind of cutting corners or whatever or... There might not be so much as an ingredient that would hold the pigment in, maybe. So still on rose red. Oh, gosh. Breaker of tip. Mm-hmm. Oils, I was quite shocked at oil pencils because oil's oil, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to penetrate any with water, to be honest, it should just sit on the top. But yeah, my, the shocker for me was Black Widows. For sure. And Shannon, I hope you message them. <laughs> or they might see your video anyway. Okay, next up is Crimson Red. I would worry about anything that's mid-range and above. I really would. Yeah, that's where that yeah. So if you were gonna do it like I said, yeah, mixed media and then that you're doing something watercolour and then your pencil bit starts running all over your page. When you look at it like that, yeah. But they should at least put on the tins, shouldn't they? There could be leakage or whatever runnage from these pencils okay I'm just give my pencil a sharpen don't sneeze over a page you're gunning at it <laughs> No, or do they state as well that the water resistant? Don't sneeze. <laughs> that tack, that really tickled me. That don't sneeze over your <laughs> pages you've done with that either. I just use my cray art pencils as watercolour now. They were well watercolour them cray art. They was really watercolour. And that straight off the bat, bright, illuminous watercolour. Cat my teasers don't run with water and neither did Shannon's. Oh gosh, it's not good that they're saying they're water resistant and they actually aren't. Have you sent them a message as well, Shannon? Because that is bad. If they're stating that it's a water resistant pencil, they're selling something that's not fit for purpose, basically. Hi Sarah, how are you? Hope you've had a lovely Valentine's Day and welcome. Now I'm on wine red. It's 
going to be a lot of red this picture because these are exactly the same colour near enough there's just no orange in them they're just pink the ones at the bottom of the page hi ruthie welcome hope you've had a lovely valentine's day as well and hi robin i'm not sure if i said hi earlier on i think i did but i'm not too sure my old water my old artisa ones run i've checked them it's my new ones that don't okay so we've got another flower here what time are we on now i'm gonna do I want to avoid the leaves. <laughs> um, they're very bright leaves, so I'm going to go with let's see, let's do some of these stems. Them three I'm going to go with. So I'm going to go with the same colours that we've put similar to in here or should I if it's in there it's going to end up clashing let's go for oh gosh I'm dropping pencils left right and centre I've used most of my greens in that wing <laughs> like what we're going to use Test these out. Nope. That's ocean blue. Oh, I've got more greens here. Right, that'll do. Hi, Louise. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, anyone coming in that I may have missed? Valentine with one. <laughs> Yeah, any love, any any love. I give all my kids stuff. I was saying earlier on in the chat, my kids got stuff this morning because I said no one loves you more than your mum and dads, grandmas and granddads. So that's mine. All got them today. <laughs> so I'm using fluorescent yellow. I'm going to come up the middle with a pair. This is a lot of leaves. A lot, a lot of leaves. And then I'm going to flick from the top with... Let me just sharpen that. I don't want to be sharper. My daughter and my son's friend spent the night. Oh man, I've had enough. <laughs> I would even have them days back at the minute. You forget what it's like to have people sleeping over and stuff like that. And when you're not allowed, it's weird when people can't sleep. And I can't wait till England is back in that situation of being able to mingle with people again okay so i'm going to color all these fluorescent yellow
Every day is full of love for me. Oh, Kenny. I'm just going to do all of these little things. Side on one here. This is another one I can do for leaf February and Shannon's flowers hashtags. So that's good. That's on the end. I can't wait to do these miniature little butterflies here. So purr in the middle. Oh dear. Purr. And I always keep that Kenny because that's lovely to have. Uh, the centre of here. And then jade green. And just flicking it towards the centre. That one is totally at the wrong angle for my wrist then. <laughs> Oh, Kenny. It's so lovely that. I do. I'm very quite open with a lot of people and I'm very, like, very trusting and very... I don't want to say gullible because I don't feel like I'm gullible, but... I've always got a lot of time for people and sometimes it bites me in the butt <laughs> and I don't learn my lessons. I seriously need to learn some lessons sometimes. But I'll tell you what, I've met some amazing people just from doing this colouring, being in the colouring community for the last, properly in the colouring community. Like I have ventured in and out of streams before when I started coming on the scene, but I've met some amazing people, you know, that I'll talk to for the rest of my life. Drop your hearts. Let's fill it full of hearts for Valentine's Day. Let's feel the love. So back to fluorescent yellow here. The leaves don't look like this. These are not realistic leaves. <laughs> They're like my imaginary leaves. And then I'm just going to come along jade green. I'm trying to use these kind of colours because I didn't want it to clash with what I've done in the butterfly. Oh.
Yeah, that saying goes, doesn't it, Jamie? If you can't love yourself, you can't you, you can't love anybody else. So yeah. I'm just lining that rain there. I think this page is going to take a while to do, if I'm being honest. This is Pear. Oh, that reminds me of Lion King Cat. Can you feel the love tonight? It will be forever. Hi, Susan. How are you? Have you had a lovely Valentine's Day? I can't wait to get back on my ghoulie hunts and give you all the inside goss. <laughs> Hopefully in April we'll be back on the ghost hunts. Oh, I've missed one out here as well. I've missed a tentacle looking thing. That's the wrong one. Fluorescent pink. Shell, if you don't love yourself, it makes it hard for others to love you too. Yeah, it does. Good morning, Tammy. Good day, mate. <laughs> no problem. Have a lovely work day. What did you do for Valentine's Day? Did you do anything special with your girls? I like the live stream. Some of the topics are pretty good. Oh, have you been lurking, Angela? <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. Have you, I hope you've had a lovely Valentine's Day, Angela. So, lemon for these ones at the top. And some reindeer. Bit of fruit punch needs to weave through the middle of here. And some sunflower, which is just a darker one. Okay, I'm going to work on some of this one down at the bottom. is the Lion King just the lyrics swapped for colouring <laughs> I can't sing that one though I can hear it though, but I don't want to slay it. So <laughs> let's move down to the bottom here. I'll do this big pink one. I've no idea what they're called. You all guessed them ones, so you can guess this one. So I'll be doing, as you can see, they're quite yellowy and pinks. So I'm just going to get out my light. The thing is with Arteza, I don't have great pinks. One of them was quite pink, but it isn't 
crimson. Yeah, that's on the pink side. I could do with having like marigolds on that one. So pink macaron. And then some of them like green and yellow. So I've got a yellow here, but I need it lighter than that. Do you know what I am missing? What I've noticed. What's there? I'm not missing it, it's all there. So I want some cream and yellow. And I'll have some white. I'll move them out there. Got so many pencils laid out in stashes where I've started one picture and I haven't finished it. I spent the day painting a pa as a pastel workshop. It was lovely to get my hands dirty. That was gorgeous. I seen that today. It was absolutely gorgeous. Oh hi bubbles, thank you very much. It's gonna be a slow progress, but I'm just doing bits so I can you can see what I've done and then I can finish it all off stream and then I'll do the background. And that's another thing. I've just done 31 days of backgrounds and this scares me because I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, it was lovely seeing all them hearts. It definitely is off the hook good. Can we build this bridge together, colouring strong forever? Nothing's going to stop us now. And if this world runs out, colours will still have our pencils. Nothing's going to stop us now. <laughs> so, some of these are yellow at the top and then pink underneath. So, if I go for... I need something on the peach side. I've got my pan pastels. I need to try as well. I'll try peach. So some of them. Uh, lighter so I'm going to go with cream apricot and then lemon so the tips the tips are quite cream so I'm going to do some of these one first can you see me there Colin do I need to move up just at the centre to the tips with cream and then I'm going to do centres apricot thank you Jamie <laughs> 80s love songs are my thing which song's that one? Yeah, I'm going to do some browns in them, I think. Because there's a big one here that I could do what I think I'm going to do browns. So I'm going to do a mixture of males and females in it. Um, If I've got time, I may do one on stream now. Tonight. If not, I'll do it. I'll just add them in. So just a slight... So I'll put the cream underneath this so it doesn't go too yellow. And I've no idea what this plant is. And then I'm just going to go back over with cream just to keep it light because I don't want it illuminous yellow. There's quite a few. So I'm going to spread these around. I'm going to do another one here. Um, it's hard to see which is which is one and which is the start of another. I think that's this one. And then apricot here. And 
and then lemon just to brighten it up slightly but not majorly and then back over the top of cream there's a bit of blue on this from when I tested that pencil out <laughs> Ah, thanks. I've done turtle on the front. I've started the Philippine Eagle as I colour along today on my channel. Oh, lovely. I'll have to check it out, Bubbles. I'd love to see your version of the male flower on the stream. The male flower or the male, the butterfly, do you mean? Good afternoon, really cut cards. Can it? No wonder we get along so well. The eighties music is almost all I listen to. I just put the radio on me, and then that's that's me done. Uh, let's do one over here because most of these on the top was this yellowy peachy cream colour. I'll see how much I get done on this and what time it is and then if I've got time I'll do the male colours of the butterfly as well. Because it won't take me too long because the, the, he's the biggest one. Oh, there's a bigger one up there actually. So I'll, one of the two I'll do, hopefully. <laughs> I thought then is there a male version? I'm thinking was there a different colour of the flower then, Bubbles? <laughs> it's okay. Um... <laughs> Hi, Kirsty. <laughs> I'll also put the radio on eight to station. My mum always has a um, smooth, is it smooth FM? She's constantly got Smooth FM on, which is all the old uh, songs from probably the 80s and 90s, obviously, because my mum's in a six... Uh, <gasps> my mum's watching. She's not 60 yet. <laughs> uh, my mum's in her 50s. Um, so, yeah, when I get in my mum's car, she's got all of them on. I do remember, like, from my dad... Uh, oh, I'm colouring on flower. My dad always used to listen to uh, John Denver and... Bud, is it Buddy Ollie? And Beautiful South. I do like Beautiful South. Um, they're a great band. And obviously, the Beatles. I tell you what I did watch the other week, what was absolutely fantastic was um Rocket Man. It was so good, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I only do that put wind you up though because you know when I know a song winds you up and it comes on. I pray you even sent me a video for the sent you yesterday. That was funny. Okay, just using the apricot cream and lemon. I'm just thinking how many do I need to do because the majority of them are pink. So I think I'll do another one over here. This is the cream. And then the apricot. And then the lemon just on the ends. And then cream over the whole lot. And then the other ones are just pink. 
And so we've got some ones with lighter areas in. So I'll use these three. So then we've got, I'm going to put white down first. Most of these on top, I'm going to put a bit of white down first, just on the ends. And then moving on to pink macaron. Then on the very centres we've got salmon. I need to sharpen these or not. Not sharp enough for that. Oh, my dad always wanted a banjo. He loved the George Barnby stuff. He, was, he always wanted He did get one, I think, in the end. Um, I'm sure he did. Uh, so I'm going to put white on the tips of these. I just keep forgetting when I've used this white. <laughs> Which one? Put on the end which one i've just done so then we're coming in with salmon pink at the edges there i don't think i'm right in that end of it doesn't feel like there's anything on it and then over the top with pink macaron Oops, and just snap. That's just completely crumbled, ain't even pressed out. I hate it when pencils do that. I just crumble. Guess what, Shella and Ashley? We are officially on the downhill slide with Colin. Woohoo! <laughs> I thought that to me when I did um, day 15. I went, oh, no, we've not got equal days. We've got one day less. So now we've only got 13 days left to go and we're done. <laughs> so let's do some more of these on top. The white down first just on the tips. And then pink salmon. Which one did I do? That one. I'll look away and forget which one I've done. Probably didn't even do this one. And then over the top with pink macaron. This one. White on the ends. S salmon on the middle. Oh, it's been really good, hasn't it? And I think it's cool. I were literally we don't really speak about what we what how we're colouring it. We just literally post our pictures in our little group, and they're all coming out similar but different. It's really bizarre, but it looks really good at the same time. Uh, so I'm gonna do this one at the very back. And then pink on the very edges. Show us that pink macaron. So then all these at the bottom are going to be this bright colour. So I need to start off with use one of them. So I'm going to go in the centres with crimson red. And do this one down here. And then fruit punch. And 
and then lastly pink macaron to the end Oh, that's good, Bruce. I'd love to be able to play guitar, and my daughters have both got guitars, but they used to have to take them in for the teachers to um, tune up because I couldn't. I have no idea with guitars. But I would love it if I used to play the clarinet when I was at school. I used to bring it home, and my dad would be like, oh, she's off with that thing again because it's so loud. <laughs> but I love my clarinet. Have I missed anyone coming in? I've kind of got my head down today. Yeah, I think um, Angie's done that, Kenny. She's followed, she's done a version. So she's got three of the books and she's done a version. On each of the pages, she's done a version of each of what we've all done. And I was like, whoa. Sometimes I get to the point and I look at it and think, oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I let myself be for? But, you know, it's it has been fun. And I love the one I did today. I just need to get in front of myself. So on to Fruit Punch. And I keep saying, yeah, I'm going to get coloured. I'm going to get so far in front. And then I don't. And then the, I give myself a few days for colour a few more days. And then I stick them on YouTube. And then I wait them three days. And then <laughs> the last one uploads. And I'm like, right, I need to do more. But what I should do in the days where it's uploading is then colour more. And I don't. I'm silly. So I'm going to put crimson red at the bottom of these. Not them, some are opening up. I not see any more of them things. Oh, that's got a real long stem. Just realise that's not a leaf, that's a bud. So fruit punch. get a turner hi louise how are you happy valentine's day if it's still valentine's day where you are oh a tuner i read it as a turner i'm thinking what's that will it tune it for me though jamie because i, I can't tune the guitars i really can't and then pink macaroon I'll just whack my camera then we end up pencil. Does anyone know if Colouring Heaven sells on Etsy? I found a store with their name but wanted to make sure it wasn't a scam. I'm not too sure. I thought uh, they only sold from their actual website. I've only known them to, to, to name the website. But there is the Colour in Heaven friends group, Marilyn, that you could ask them if any of them know. If I go quiet, I'm making taco soup. Ah, that's really good. I'll have to look then. 
Thank you very much, Louise. We haven't done much. We've just like just chilled together, I suppose. And my husband's just been off for four days and we've hardly seen each other. <laughs> I'm just doing all these stems with crimson red. I need to start thinking about backgrounds for this image. And I'm like, mm. it's quite busy. So let's do all these. I'm just going to go around all these flowers now that I want this red, the darker ones with crimson. All the centres. You all see me down here, I'm right down here. Only I would shop on the website. Yeah, I definitely would, just to make sure. That, I mean, they could have, but when I was watching the charity marathon and people were asking, they were just mentioning the website. So, um, yeah, just stick with the website. If anything goes wrong... You've got it on the website. So then next up, free punch. Shell, it goes from an A to a G and starts over at A. You have to know if you need to tighten or loosen. It's, it is easy once you learn. Most times you only need to tighten. I'm going to get one and then they can start going on YouTube while they're at home from school and finding um, how to play the guitar videos and they can get learning. Because they've both got, Freya's got a little miniature one. I'm not too sure what that's called. Um, and Alicia's got like a a big proper guitar. I mean, they're only kids playing ones. They're not anything special. Alicia's was a bit more dearer because it's a full size one. Um, but she really wanted to learn to play it. And then technology's got in the way of a lot of things at the minute with lockdown and stuff. And it just seems to have gone to the wayside. So I'll look at that tuner. Um, Jamie, thank you very much. And I'll uh, see what I can do with the kids with that. If I can tune it, I'm all right. They're right. Play it. Play, play your guitars. <laughs> I love the sound of music like that. The raw music. Now oh, back to fruit punch. So that was crimson red and then back to fruit punch for there. I might film one petal through Tammy's because I'm using my favourite red combo. Oh, what are we talking about? I've missed that. You're doing the flower circus. So these ones that are down under here, I'm just going to do them all crimson red because they're deep inside the formation of flowers I'm trying to make them look different so you can see the depth of them
It's so tiny anyway. I think that one I'm going to pick back up the yellow and put this on here. So apricot. I'll just put it green. And then yellow on the end. Snark tuners. Let me write that down, Jamie, because I'll definitely um and look at that snark. Thank you very much. If you could work, if you could find a way to angle the tripod with my phone to film it, I'd do it. Can you not get a different? There's ones that you can get, cat, that sit actually on your desk and just film over the top of your work. If you don't have anywhere that you can put an arm. Oh, I love the sound of flutes. <laughs> Can it? Try put a piece of paper under the folded um, things. Let me see now. So that's what that's going to basically look like. That's what that's going to basically look like at the bottom. The flowers are going to look like that, and all the green leaves are going to be done like that. So let me look up a butterfly. So I think I'm going to do. this one no I'm not I'm going to do the one at the top it is bigger I'm going to get the colours out of the male butterfly one second no. and then it will take us to hopefully I can do it quickly I'd love to do I might do oh no that means I might have to buy another book just to do the male one <laughs> could do the male full size couldn't I I could hand draw it though and redo a male one. That would be good. Uh, male queen. Male queen Alexander bird wing. So he is all. Let's have a look. He's like burnt ochre colours. So let me find an actual real one. Oh, so I'd have to actually, because this over here is like more like a moth. None of these have the markings for the male, so I want to see what I'd have to do. Right, I'm going to have to do him at the top. So let me get some brain out of the markers. And I want the cream from here. So they'll work for it to on the inside. <clears throat> I need some dark brains. Let's go for this. Are you off to work, Tammy? No problem. Have a lovely day at work. Thank you for coming along. I think once it's all done, it'll all come together, won't it? It's like when... It's because it's um, 
Oh, so I've just snapped that in my pencil shirt. Put that on, I'll just want to sharpen that one. So I'm going to have to adapt it to make it look like the male. But I think with the shapes that are there, I think I should be able to do it. So let me look at this picture of this male. So with my lightest brown, I'm going to mark out Shell, I'm digging the colour of your flowers. Oh, thank you. I've just taken taken them from the actual flower, Kenny. Um, right. So I'm just gonna hand draw this in with the lightest of my browns. Then like a curvature going in there. And then I'm going to get the darkest. we got a spot about here. I'll do that last, actually. I'll just try and put this in. Let me get closer to you so you can all see what I'm doing. If I draw that in there. So I'll probably end up being quite quiet here because I start concentrating and I'm like, I can't. But I'm making look like a male. <laughs> I just sort this focus out on that. It'd help if I told you what I'm using at this point, wouldn't it? So I'm using cinnamon just for this bit. And then... So here it's just got like a circle there. I'm making it like a male. I know I've been re out saying to you, Kenny, I've been listening about strings and what they're playing. <laughs> um, so the centre of that is all dark. So we'll just be a bit on here. So I'm going to colour this edge in here dark. And then I'm going to go with hazelnut brown. Blend that in. Oh. Blend that in. And then I need to um, go in between here. the front of here they're all getting dead rowdy downstairs <laughs> I can hear them all later and it's really winding them up so I'm on it okay so I really want to bring I need to make these dark can I go over that what I've just done There's a guy um, 
before lockdown and everything in our town centre, he used to come with all his um, Native American wear on and he had the head gear and everything on and he used to play his little flutes and oh, I used to stand there at the top of Wigan and just listen to him play, it was amazing. It would be much easier if I had the shape of the male butterfly, but I'll do what I can with him and make him look like one. And then I'm going to come in with burnt umber. I'm going to have to. Um, Put the alcohol marker on. It's not ticking. Must have pressed on too hard because it's not letting me lay up over it. And then I'm going in with burnt umber. really dark like virgin on black I don't know why it's not letting me lay over it paper's breaking down I'll just get black This is noir. Don't you break. I'm just deepening up that centre section. And same here. I'll go around the edge. I think they're all excited, my kids, because they've got a week off school from home learning. <laughs> and his nan has just brought him a weighted blanket and he absolutely loves it. So then, got a bit of an ombre bit here. So whether I can fit an ombre in, so I've got... Oh, ah, look at the shape of the game. That looks a bit funny. That's a big chunk. Just one sec. My personal flute is always grandfather's tuning. I only tune others to a modern scale. There we go. So I'm going to use camel brain just on this section here. Turn a little bit. And then yellow ochre. Don't you dare snap. And then cream on the very centre. You little thick. I was gonna I was gonna swear then. <laughs> I had to hold myself back. I'm just gonna get the black. And these ones we've got this one has got a spot in it. And this one's got a bigger spot in it. I'll put one in 
that one because you can't see that part as well. So that's that bit done. <laughs> so most of this part of his wing, so up here, they have... This is going to be hard. I'm going to have to do it. They have a flash of cream here and then a flash here. And then they have like a V in these. Oh, my hand's covering what I'm doing, isn't it? Have you not been able to see the whole time through what I've been doing there? Oh, you're welcome, Jamie. I'm just more concerned now that I think I've had my hand over that and not no one's going to be able to see what you, I've done. <sighs> so. I'm going to colour all this in the brain and just go round these, what I've just done. I think I'm covering up what I'm colouring with my hand. <laughs> oh no! Could you see, Kenny? Oh, that's good. I was looking down then. I thought, oh my, I've I've been covering it up. So obviously, this is a female laid out butterfly but I'm colouring it as a male so I'm changing it round and this is what the male versions of this look like so then I'm moving in with burnt umber to each one of these sections I'm gonna that burnt umber does not like going over that um hazelnut brown is anybody else's burnt umber in the Arteza set do this it's like I'm fighting with it to go to layer over the other pencils and it's just crumbling YouTube can tell you how to use a tuner or find me on Facebook and if you have questions. Loving the inclusions of both butterfly genders. Thanks, Kat. I'm just having a fight with my burnt... Is it burnt? Yeah, burnt umber. Just having a fight with that one at the minute. And then I'm going to come in with Noir. See, the other two big ones I'm going to do male and then the other little ones I'm just going to do female. So I've got a mixture of both. But this is the last time this one will be on stream though. I'm just... Bring some of this in. Trying to adapt and change the way this is. The lines have been done. He's got a big circular thing here on this one. So I'm using the noir to try and give it the illusion that it's got that in the centre. I'm 
just changing it and trying to hide where Kirby's done different layers there and just change it to that one and then these are all just long strips with that light colour in the middle let's just darken up this one as well it's a bit too bit too orangey with my burnt umber that doesn't like to be I'm just going to try and take out some of that orange because there's not really a lot of orange on these ones he looks a bit orange So this is the male one anyway. That's what a male one looks like. So I've tried to get him to look as much as I can like that. The only thing I think I've gone with the wrong... The colour that I used to mark out these markings um, is too orange. I'm just trying to kill some of that orange. Oh, you're welcome, Bubbles. I'd have loved to have been able to do him on a bigger scale. I think that would have been nice if I could have done him on a bigger... Just trying to darken them up now. I think he looks cool. <laughs> I like that. Let me just go back over that with cream. Gonna lighten that section up so let's see if I can make his other wing look like that. I'll have to shout these because that's tiny. And then I think I'll call it a night after that because then I'll have shown you every aspect of the page in this stream, so I think that'll be good. And then I'll be able to colour that off camera. Because they're all just repetitive. It's all the same flower. Um, there's no difference in flower. So I'll be doing them exactly how I've done these. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm not covering it up too much. So just again changing the shape of that bit so they have not as yellow they're not as yellow on the body either as the females the females are quite bright okay so then i'm going to come in with the burnt umber and i've not put as much of the other colour down so I can hopefully this part of the wing is going to look darker now that's loud van for today oh, I think they've just recovered someone Is this a male moth or does it have a name? It's the it's still a Queen Alexandra bird wing. It's just the male version. So that's the female and that's the male. 
that's the difference kelly but they're still the same they're still called a queen alexandra bird wing it's just this is what the male would look like and it's unusual isn't it because in wildlife when you think of wildlife it's normally always the male that's full of colour to be more attractive to the females. And this one, the males are dull in this one. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just going to manipulate. Let me just sharpen that edge. One turn. Tips have gone flying everywhere tonight. I'm not pressing on her because I don't want to break my tip. I'm just manipulating the shape. To the male's markings. You've took a screenshot, no problem, Kenny. Is it clear? Do you need me to put it up again? Are you all right? I don't mind showing anyone again if you want reference. It's more like birds of prey. The females are always brighter than the males. Right. You want me to do the male again? yeah hi helen sorry i didn't notice you come in i've got my head stuck right down on this page concentrating on <laughs> the male version of this um butterfly and i'm because i'm changing the shape of what kirby's drew Shh. to accommodate the um the male markings there's definitely a moth over the other side um i'll show in a second that's not um the same so then i'm going to go back in with the cream here and just blend it out do you know i think i might do some butterfly studies <laughs> Because I absolutely love butterflies, heart. I love wildlife. I think that's what I should be doing, you know. Birds, butterflies. I mean, this bee on the other page is absolutely gorgeous. So I think that's the male. So let me just look at his. So he's like a dark. He's not orange. But he's not as bright as her yellow. So let me go in with the uh, sunflower yellow. I've got a little bit of spillage of colour from that one onto there. So he's not as bright as her, so he's got some black, thick black lines in his. I'm just going to deepen them up. You've got a good shot. No, this is not a moth. No, there is a moth on the page on the other side, though. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I'll show you all in a second. So he still has his red. So I need that crimson red. Here we go. He's still got, he's got a red mark in the same. It's kind of higher up on his back. And then the rest of him is black. There we go. So that's him done. So if I pull that up, um, 
See him here, this. I'm not too sure what that is. Because the markings are just lines across it. So it's not anything like this. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. So I'm just trying to get the glare off that light so you can see what them flowers actually look like and that. The male version. Hopefully it'll focus on it better. There we go. So I've took the glare off that and that's what it all looks like anyway. Can't get the whole page on without that glare, shall we? Let me move my pad back up there. Super simmering, so I'm back. <laughs> so yeah. There's the male. So the other male, I'll be doing this one male. So there'll be two males and then I'll put another female there and there. And then I don't think I've got any more butterflies on here, have I? Oh yeah, so these, right, so I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to manipulate that one and I might make him look male. I'm going to make him look like a male one. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll try. So then I'll have a female here, a male, a male, and then a female and a female. Yeah. So like I said, all the flowers are exactly the same as them. So I don't think I really need to do another stream of it. Um, I know it's nice to see it finished, but I think it, this is going to take a while to finish. Um, and then whatever I do for the background, I will upload that as a background and put it on background on my background series on my playlist. Because right at this minute, I've no idea what I'm going to put there. <laughs> I may put like a bit of a, I don't know, something, a soft bokeh maybe, a pastel bokeh maybe. We'll see. Or it might not even need a background. We'll just see how it all looks when I've done but I, if I do do a background, I will put it on the background series. So this is the last stream for this today. And I'll finish the rest of it off camera and pop it on my Instagram and my social medias. Um, and obviously you'll see the video pop up on my channel of when I've done the background. So that is stream for today. Happy Valentine's Day for everyone that is still celebrating. Um and have a wonderful week and please stay safe wherever you are in the world whether you've got really bad weather um please stay safe and thanks everyone for coming along and chatting tonight you've been fantastic it's been a nice chilled stream um and thank you to everyone lurking we've had a few lurkers today and i've had more come than i expected because i thought you might have all been being gushy and having your meals and stuff with your partners <laughs> Um, so thank you everyone for coming thank you to my mods for being here and being amazing like you always are thank you so much everyone good night god bless and mind the bed bugs don't bite as my grandma used to say <laughs> good night everyone bye So who've I still got left in? Let me just have a seat. I just want to check whether this um tells me. So I've still got it shows me is this Ashley, Louise, Kat, Kenneth, Colouring with Lou, and Sarah Moonlit Crafter and me are still so hi goodbye everyone that's still in the chat. Bye bye.